Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I'm Alakunle Katsumo. Today is all about bookshops. I don't know about you, but when I was very young, there were many bookshops all around the major cities in Nigeria. Those bookshops mostly thrived. Back then, schools will give you a long list of books to use for a term or session, and you'll go to one of those big shops with your book lists and with one of your parents to buy the books needed for school. Unfortunately, a lot have changed over the years, and many will tell you that the bookshop has now become a dying breed. But while there is enough to depress those of us who have watched the sad decline of the bookshop business and culture in Nigeria, right there in the city of Ibadan, southwest of Nigeria, is a story that inspires. It's a story of a bookshop that many agree is the biggest bookshop in Nigeria. Ibadan is known for many things, its vast size, its immense population that makes it the third most populous city in Africa, its proud hills and deep in valleys, its rich history of victorious battles. But beyond those, there is literature. This is um, Ibadan. <laughs> it's a bit sunny now. I, I grew up in this city. I mean, years ago, um, this is this is Jericho. Years ago, this road used to be um, used to have some of the biggest publishing companies in Nigeria They're all lined up on this road. And some of them are still here today: um, Evans, UPL, Henneman, and so on. All lined up. This road is famous for hosting the big publishing firms. And uh, very fond memories standing here today and seeing how this place has really changed a lot. Right here is the Booksellers Limited. Um, this bookshop came here in 1999. It has been here since then. It is reputed to be the biggest bookshop in Nigeria. Now, if you doubt that, then you need to see the inside. So, I'm going to walk right in there and let's see what it looks like and have a conversation with the man behind this project. It's amazing. This is a bookshop with over 60,000 titles right here in Nigeria. Over 60,000 titles. And clearly the genres range from law to finance to business and all sorts of things here. Yeah. Religion, children's books, education books, senior secondary, junior secondary, all sorts of books. It's absolutely amazing. It's like there's no book you're looking for that you can't find here. Oh, the new arrivals 
stand here. Interestingly, we featured some of these books on Channel's Book Club. Wow. Jim Daly for Jamie Rokun's book. Leia Dinley's new book, When Trouble Sleeps. Uh, the, the book business is extremely risky in a country like Nigeria. Many will say the reading culture is not as developed as it ought to be. So you have to wonder, the men and the women who go into the book business in Nigeria, they, they, they must have amazing tenacity and probably lots of passion for what they do. Um, the margins on book sales are not so much and readers are not so many. Even though we have a huge population, you'll find out that many people would rather do something else than walk into a bookshop to buy a book. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why many of the bookshops seem to be dying. The man behind this particular project has been in the book business for over 40 years and he stuck right to it. Then let's, let's, let's go and meet him. Dr. Kolade Musoro has been in the bookshop business for over 40 years. From a young starter, he has paid every due imaginable to become one of the most respected leaders in the book and publishing sectors in Nigeria and Africa. 40 years is a lot of time to acquire the important details that make running a bookshop not just a business, but a helpful resource for different types of people, including those who like to read across genres. <laughs> Doctor, so these are all the books I'm picking from your from your bookshop. I'm excited, <laughs> very excited. Mm. Quite a wide range you have selected. <laughs> yes, um, well, I'm I'm trying to pick. Um, I'm trying to develop a collection of sports biographies and autobiographies. I'm a sports fan, so you can see here. Well, you have Carlo, Carlo Ancelotti. Ancelotti. You can ha you can see Sonny Liston, Sonny Liston yes. Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, Zlatan. Zlatan. Okay. <laughs> the troublesome man. Okay. I mean, well, I'm not, here, ball I'm not like sure Bola Ige played any any ball, no, but no, you no. have Ka Bola Ige is a boy <laughs> yeah, here. These are all okay. the, the making of me, my Odyssey by Dele Fajam Roku, I'm not sure he played ball, <laughs> but he was rascally. Okay. So you can call it ball, but he did a lot of business. Okay. You have Lado Kiakintola, his life and times. Yes, uh, great. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, uh, the morning, uh, good morning, Mr. Mr. Mandela. This was written by Mandela's secretary, a white lady, oh. uh, giving a very uh, human perspective. Some of the things that you have never heard or read about Mandela, you will find there. Yeah, and of course, <clears throat> becoming, Michelle, Michelle Obama. Obama's becoming. And you know, this one was released. Uh, November 13 last year, and by m March, by the end of March, they have sold 5 million copies. Wow. Okay. And then Peter, Peter Nahoro, then spoke the thunder. Well, uh, many people will remember Peter Nahoro as the man who wrote, uh, who, who wrote How to Be a Nigerian, an uh, <laughs> editor of the Daily Times mm -hmm. in his uh, uh, great days. Okay. And Peter has uh, well, perhaps one of the finest. In, 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 the, in the country and such uh, and a very powerful writer. So you, you have a wide selection and uh, you know I must commend you. It takes me some time to read this though. I believe so. I, be so I better get started. Well, please, please, please do. Please, you know, you, this will keep you busy for a while. <laughs> okay, uh, um, what, what determines how you choose the collection here, the genre, the I mean, what determines? How, how do you pick your books? The guiding principle. First, every subject, every subject is important. Okay. That's the guiding principle. Every subject on earth is important. However, 
not every subject is commercially viable in mm. terms of sales mm -hmm. because uh, just as I, you know, I, I wouldn't load this place with uh, books on oceanography if there's no there's no body of water mm. around me around me here for such exploration. So uh, uh, people like sports, okay, and uh, you know people sit down at weekends to watch uh, football games, tennis games, and boxing contests. So uh, you know uh, we have uh, biographical books on some of the key players in different sports. Carlo, for example, in football, Sonny, okay. Uh, you will remember the epic Sonny Lissin and Muhammad, uh, and Muhammad Ali, Ali. Okay. Yeah. and you will remember the colorful Sugar, Sugar Ray Leonard, Leonard, you know, uh, and then this rascal from Sweden, Russell. Sweden, uh, he played played in in, in uh, played in uh, uh, Spain, played in the UK. Now he's in the US. Yeah. Okay, well, Cardino boy telling the story of when he was. Uh, uh, you know, when he was in the north, okay? The Making of Me, my Odyssey in Business, that's a new release by Dele Fajamoko. Mm -hmm. It's quite rich in terms of the business coverage that he has in the book. And many people doing business in Nigeria or wanting to know business about Nigeria will find I'll value. Will find value. No, so, so, I, I have to drop this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can get uh, you a cut. I can get you a cut. Okay. So I can get you a cut and on and on. So generally, that, that's how that, you that, determine that determines. Okay. Uh, so you then, uh, some areas of strength. Okay. People, literature books, uh, course books uh, for uh, key subjects, physics, chemistry, biology, uh, you know, there's a, and some, some foundational courses caught across all universities, mm. okay? they will do English or related or literature in some form. Okay? Uh, many will do mathematics, statistics. Okay? Uh, people will do who and uh, will do uh, uh, economics, mm -hmm. sociology, okay? anthropology, archaeology. But then the number of students in these various fields differ. Mm. So you look at the admission list. And you will see that a huge number are in a particular uh, course than, than some others. So you will then weight it accordingly to be able to get books to meet uh, cost demand. And then you stay and stay on top of things. Yes, indeed. Uh, in, in percentage terms, um, you have more of foreign authors than local authors. Or it's the other way around. Is this 60, 40, 70, 30, ballpark range? Uh -huh. Well, Kule, let's face it. Uh, more books are written overseas than in Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. All the books that we write, all of us put together, all the publishers in Nigeria put together, they don't amount to up to 3,000 3, titles in a year, which is not up to the number that, is pub that are published in the, in the UK in a week. Wow. So, uh, uh, the more... So we don't do 3,000 titles in a year. Oh, no, no, nothing, no, nothing not, close. Not up to. Nothing close to that. And in the UK, <laughs> you have got more than that in a week. In a week. Yeah, so okay. that tells the story of the people who are putting out material. Okay. But it's not as if we don't have voices. Okay. It's not as if we don't have voices. But these are things that we will need to build uh, for people to be able to write and um, for uh, uh, the books to be bought and to oil the industry and so that we can put out more and do more. Yeah. Doctor, thank you very much. My pleasure once again. I, do I don't want to be tempted to pick another. No, no, no I'm, by, I'm, by, I'm all means, by all means, uh, you know, I don't mind your temptation. <laughs> <laughs>